welcome back to another episode of Nemeseek, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about the Resident Evil reboot because I was going through the IMDb again, just looking at the different departments and people who were working on this film and seeing what we could come up with, and I found something that I... I don't have an answer for really and so that's why I was like you know what let's talk about it let's talk about this gentleman who's here and then let's you know uh, you know get your opinion on it too because uh, when I was going through the stunt department of uh, you know the IMDB page for Resident Evil reboot um, it I came across this gentleman named BJ Prince and now BJ I actually went and clicked on his account and stuff uh, you know here's a picture of him here um, and uh, you know I'll try to throw a couple other images up there too but he's been in he's worked in movies before a lot of movies actually and what he does is he's an animal wrangler sometimes uh, like he does a lot of stunts with animals particularly horses and then like i said when i went and looked him up on like uh you know instagram and stuff like that and i think he had a linkedin page too he actually works for a, a company up in canada i believe that trains people and, and you know works with horses and works with animals and things like that and i think he's been on other film sets you know with a camel and everything like that you know like other animals that are you know in the in that range where it's like a giant four-legged animal of some kind um but then it made me start thinking like well if he primarily works with horses and they gathered a bunch of you know uh you know i guess maybe they hired him to bring in and they, they needed an animal wrangler of some kind what kind of animals do they hire to wrangle him in because remember there are people that worked on this movie that worked in departments they've never really done before or ne they were like in charge of departments they've never been in charge of before like we saw with some of the makeup and the and the effects like that uh, but so i don't know if he's you know here working with animals he doesn't have a ton of experience with or if he's here working with the animal he has the most experience with which is horses and it started getting me thinking well where would horses come into play in Resident Evil uh, because obviously we've seen them do the dogs and you know the creature uh, effects for the dogs in previous movies um, and we still don't know if if you know we're gonna get dogs in this movie although I think someone who did do uh, some of the makeup on the dogs in Resident Evil Afterlife I think he was hired to be on this too to work on something so I'm, I'm curious to see where this all goes but where would horses play in and the only thing I could think of is oh maybe there's a police officer or two that um you know has to like rides a horse because there's the arclay mountains and you might have uh if you're if you're going in there you're probably not going to take a squad car uh you might uh, if it's, especially if it's on the outskirts of a town you might have uh police on horses and sometimes police just in raccoon city might just be on horses too like you do in new york city and stuff like that so i was thinking along those lines and i when i saw him and how he looks and with his hat and everything i was like you know he looks a lot like the guy from the Resident Evil 2 remake uh, when you get trapped, like the police officer, uh, the Arclay police officer, uh, who is in a squad car, not on a horse, but uh, in the game, he kind of, uh, you know, is he, there's like a mini game with him having to survive a night in the, uh, the convenience store uh, at the gas station, and you have to like shoot a bunch of enemies, you have to kill a hundred of them in order to escape, and it's a very hard game. I think I played it like 30 times before I finally beat it, uh, but that character is, you know, he's kind of a... Uh, a cowboy looking guy but he's, a, he's like a mountain police arclay uh, officer and stuff and that when i saw this guy i was like oh that kind of reminds me of that and i'm not saying he's playing that officer or anything like that i'm just saying like if the movie is pulling inspirations from the resident evil 2 remake which it clearly is as we saw with some of the rpd design and some of the other things in this movie uh, that they've announced so far it's possible that they might pull an arclay officer and then maybe put them on horses since they're outside of town outside of raccoon city uh that could be interesting uh so i was thinking along those lines like maybe there's a scene where like you know a cop gets pulled off his horse and by zombies and gets eaten and the horse runs off and you would just obviously need a wrangler uh nearby to make sure that horse comes back and doesn't get too scared and things like that so that's all i mean it, this is not like major major news but it just caught my eye i was like that's interesting a horse wrangler or an animal wrangler uh does you know but i saw he has a background with horses so i'm like is he working with horses in this movie or is he working with a different animal um and is that animal going to be some kind of creature or will it just be like the you know most obvious uh, answer which is it's a horse uh, you know and uh, and, a, and a cop is riding it and they just wanted to have a, like a scene there like w with something along those lines so that's possible too i don't know if i've seen any set photos with any horses or people with horses maybe there's one out there and if so you guys can remind me of it um but if so then that will just prove that maybe he's there to work with horses and that there's going to be some horse on set of this movie so anyway i, I know uh I, I do sometimes reach for news uh, but i like to cover things that 
other people don't talk about on their shows. And I like to go through the different departments and talk about people who work in different facets of movies and stuff. And BJ here, he has a really neat uh, resume and, and where he works uh, with this uh, company that works with animals and stuff. It's like, oh, it's pretty neat that he's, you know, a guy who just does that and works with uh, animals. And I think there's, I think there may be something in Canada, but it may might have other places around the U.S. where this company operates out of. I can't fully remember off the top of my head, um, but, uh, but he's... Uh, he has that background, and, and it's you do need people like that sometimes on movie sets, people with an expertise in animals or in uh, horticulture, you know, or like I'm saying that wrong, like, you know, plants and things like that. Like, sometimes you need people with different expertise. Um, I think uh, the Venom movie has, like, a meteorologist that they needed, uh, you know, to help with, you know, predicting when it's going to rain or not going to rain or what kind of weather they're going to have in uh, Europe when they were filming. It's like there's, there's all kind of different things, like everyday uh, jobs that you'll need to bring into the movie world uh, to help out with stuff on movie sets. So I just found this a little interesting, um, but I also wanted to make the comparison to the Arclight Officer. What do you guys think? Do you think we're just gonna see a couple officers or one officer on a horse in this movie and there's gonna be seen with that? Do you think we'll see a zombie horse? Uh, you know, let me know in, your, in the comments below because obviously we haven't seen that in any of the video games, but I imagine if a horse gets bitten like the dogs, you know, do in the games uh, or the crows, like they get infected and they turn. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess a horse could do a lot of damage if it kicks, um, and, but if it just like spazzes out and it's, you know, a zombie horse and stuff, that could be, it could be a scary scene or it could be a very funny evil dead scene. Uh, I don't know, but I want to hear your thoughts. So let me know down below and we'll continue our conversation always down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.